are these things that I put value in in my life? What does it all mean if I don't have community? My third one is kind of different. I don't think people would usually think I would read something like this. It's called American Born Chinese and it is a graphic novel. I never read graphic novels and I forget. Okay, it's actually funny. I'm pretty sure I read this like in elementary school because my mom saw it on like the list of like recommended readings like on like the scholastic page or something for like, yeah, fifth the scholastic. grade or sixth grade. Yeah. yeah, and she got it for me and I don't think she had any idea that it was a book with a bunch of pictures in it. And so I like breezed through it because I was like, this is so fun. Like I love this book. It's so funny. And I ended up actually rereading it in college. And I think it is one of those, it reminds me of like a Disney movie in a way because it is something that is very entertaining for little kids to read, mm -hmm. but it takes on different meanings like as you grow older. Mm -hmm. It tells the story of three apparently unrelated characters. Jin Wing, who moves to a new neighborhood with his family only to discover he's the only Chinese American student at his new school. The powerful monkey king, which in Korean is Son I don't, I know there's a Chinese. Oh, Son Ogong, yeah. Yeah. That yeah, sounds yeah. like the same. That's so funny. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really similar. The powerful monkey king, subject of one of the oldest and greatest Chinese fables, and Chin Ki, a personification of the ultimate negative Chinese stereotype, who is ruining his cousin Danny's life with his yearly visits. Their life and stories come together with an unexpected twist in this action-packed modern fable so it's very interesting because the monkey king fable was like from years ago mm -hmm. and then the two other stories they look like they're in completely different worlds too like this chin Ki character like looks really weird like he is literally what you would imagine the worst version of a stereotyped asian male character in a movie where it's like he he's wearing like that traditional chinese outfit mm -hmm. with the long ponytail yeah, the braided behind mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so literally that's Chin Ki in the, oh. in the book. And he's juxtaposed, he's the cousin of this white boy. And it was just oh, very weird for okay. me to read that at first. And when the twist happens, I was like, wow, this makes a lot of sense. And I think this book just really alluded to how we talk about identity, like what we see as our own value. So like the Monkey King wants to be like the most successful or like powerful ruler of them all. And Jin Wang is like very conscious of the fact that he is Chinese American and ends up hating the fact that he's Chinese American because he's just picked on, he is so different from other people. And then for Danny and Chin Ki, he, Danny is watching this character Chin Ki and thinking like, wow, I don't ever want to be like this person. And so that, all of these different themes in these three, three stories it just really made me think a little bit more about are these things that i put value in in my life like how much value do i put into being korean american asian american uh the value of my accomplishments and what does it all mean if i don't have community or mm -hmm. if i don't have people challenging me or if i'm always in my own echo chamber of what i believe is right mm -hmm. and so it was a very introspective book for given that it's a graphic novel and i think that just i think graphic novels have been on the rise honestly like i've seen a lot of really great asian american graphic novels out there and the the artwork is beautiful and it all like all of it has such great commentary on the asian american lifestyle so it was great it's been a while since i've read it and i want to read it again and mm -hmm. i think for you it would be such a fast read sophia mm -hmm. and i think you would really enjoy it especially since you know like the story of the monkey king so you mentioned that you read this when you were younger would you recommend mm -hmm. that's this as a book for people to for maybe middle schoolers who want to think about their cultural identity but don't really have any other resources like would this be a good place to start yeah i definitely think so i think it's very digestible i think it's very digestible mm -hmm. and it'd be cool to see what kind of things they take out of it mm -hmm. um that would be such a fun thing to talk to my sister about yeah no if there's any maybe we can like recommend her stuff oh, and then we can talk about it with her yeah mm -hmm. cool cool because cool. that yeah that was yeah, I'm like kind of reading through like the Wikipedia page right now and seeing like, oh, what are the themes that show up? So it's like racial struggles and stereotypes. Chinky's academic ability brings to light what we describe as the misguided distinction between good stereotypes and bad stereotypes. Um, like, for example, a good stereotype is Chinky's stellar academic performance, but it could also be still seen as a negative stereotype overall, especially if there's an Asian student who is struggling academically, right? So just like little things like that that Maybe I had the vocabulary to talk about it in college, but back in the day, like I, maybe it was cool to see this visualized for me, even if I didn't necessarily have the jargon to describe it. Mm -hmm. So 